Hello, in this video I want to talk about how you can create different datasets with write and click and the difference between write edit and write form. The COVID-19 hospital app is a great example to show you a lot of what is possible. First thing I want to do is to admit a new patient. Therefore, I am switching from the dashboard to the patient admission. I now must choose a free bed for the patient. To make any changes in write form, you always have to first select an entity or dimension you want to work with. In my case, it is a bed on station B. This new patient will be safe with some data like the bed, the date of admission and, very important, the new patient ID. This unique number is the primary key for this patient. If I go into the edit mode and have a closer look at the patient ID measurement, I could change the expression. For example, I could change the ID to start with the word patient in front of the number. Of course, I could also add another business logic for new patients' IDs rather than generating them randomly. Remember, this ID also sets the primary key, so it has to be a different number for every new patient. I can now change any measurement besides the patient ID for this new patient. I could move him to another bed or enter an important comment. When we go to the right management console and have a look into the endpoints, I can see all the datasets for the patients, beds and stations. The primary key for the station is the station's name and not a unique random number like the patient ID. In the station and bed management, we can add stations and beds with write edit. The names and numbers of stations is known and has a limit, therefore there is no need for a unique identifier. With more and more patients, the likelihood of two with the exact same names is increasing, so we need a number to tell them apart. Another reason is to secure the private data of the patient when different people work with this application. Not everyone will be allowed to have access to all the data. Section Access Management will only allow datasets to be seen and edited by the right person. On the left side, we can see all the existing section access rules, including the user ID and the section access rule ID. And on the right side, we can create a new rule. We could implement that, for example, a nurse from station B, who needs all the information about her patient, get the full access. Another hospital worker might not need all the information, so he only gets access to the data he's required to know.